Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fishing the Barren Sea. Uh, this is my other profile, as I mentioned on the tutorial video. I had unlocked this boat before, but I thought I'd just do the tutorial video, show you guys how to play the first boat. And this is the Sharkin, or I think that's how you pronounce it, Sharkin, because it's Norwegian. And what we're going to do is we're going to travel up to Akafjord and we're going to pick a job up and it's going to take us all the way back down to Hammerfest. And also what I've just noticed as well, what I haven't caught yet is there's a cod hotspot right here. I haven't caught any cod yet and there's one there. So I think on the way back I might drop a net here and drop a net here and see what the timing is like by the time we get back down to here to go and pick them back up. Now, if you look at my logbook, I have actually unlocked the third boat. This one here. The Vipek Catherine or Catherine. I don't know if I've got enough money for it yet. So we're just going to pick up a job here. And try to get some more cash. As you see, I'm up to 600, uh, 765,828 krona. There's usually a couple of jobs in this little um, dock here. Little dock here. Yeah, there's one job, as you see, number one over the town. As you see, I'm still 440,000 in debt. And here we go. Bob, the local fisherman, would like you to deliver 790 kilograms of assorted fish billets to Hammerfest within five days. Note that you do not need to catch any additional fish, and fast traveling is not allowed. So we're going to accept that job. That's 790 kilos of fish added to the cargo, and accepted the job. Let's make sure I've got full fuel. And let's head back down to Hammerfest. Fill out here. Now, since we can't fast travel, this is going to take a good half hour, 40 minutes. Go all the way down to Hammerfest. So what I'll do, I'm going to drop a net just up here. As you see, I've got a crew member, Piat Rasmussen. And I've been leveling him up. What I did as well, as you see, my hull integrity is on 87%. What I did before I just pulled out is I just give the boat a little think, since I'm not using them, since I'm traveling all the way down to Hammerfell, Hammerfest. And I'm going to stick him in repair, just to keep him leveling up. Now I'm going to drop the speed down a little bit. Make sure we're right in the center here. Yeah, we can drop the net. This will be the first time I've actually caught any cod, to be honest. All the other ones have been have been fishing down here. And it was all just pollock and stuff, but there seems to be a, quite a few cod hot spots out now, which is good. It's good money for cod. Okay, so let's drop the net here. As you see, I've got two nets, 165 meters each. And basically, you've got this big white bar with a little blue rectangle in the middle. Try and keep that in the center. A nice steady pace four and a half knots i don't think you can speed up anyway it actually slows down for you so you just keep that in the center as you're letting the net out and as you see it's counting down now 85 
That's 90 meters. So it's a pretty big net. Okay, 140. And there we go. You can get up to full speed. Head on down to Hammerfest. Oh, another thing as well. In my last video, uh, I said that the um, I had everything on max settings. I never noticed this, but... I don't know why this was actually turned off. Accurate looking water reflections, but with a higher rendering cost. I didn't realize that was off. I don't know why it was off, but it is now back on. You should be able to see the difference. In the last video, the water was kind of blackish. I mean, it's nighttime now, so it does look kind of blackish, but you weren't getting the, the proper reflections. As you can see, the water looks a lot better. So we're going to head down towards Hammerfell. Hammer, I keep calling it Hammerfell. Towards Hammerfest, we'll let out the other net. I mean, doesn't that look beautiful? Look at the sky. This really is a really nice looking game. As you can see, old Bjart is now fully rested. The green bar just under his avatar picture. Fully rested if it's green. As he's working away, the green bar will actually go towards the left and you'll have to take some rest. So, since he's fully rested, I'm actually going to put him on repair. Just start leveling up. As I said, I gave the ship a little knock just as I was coming out of port just to keep him working as we're traveling since we can't fast travel while we're doing uh, a job so there we go he's working away repairing the ship so here we are coming up to this next waypoint oh and there's Bjart just leveled up coming up to this next waypoint with the codder uh, hot spot for the cod just have a little look yep we're right in the center Drop the speed, drop the next net, and he's almost finished repairing the boat, it's up to 98%, it was down to 87%, I got him repairing as soon as we left the dock. What I'll do, as soon as he's finished repairing the boat, I'll stick him up here, get him to do some more cooking, he cooks some burgers. Um, as you see, his um, stamina bar is sort of virtually halfway down now. Um, when his stamina is right down, he'll actually just go off himself to rest and he won't work anymore. But if you feed him burgers, his energy builds up a lot quicker and you can get him back to work quicker as well. So always make sure you've got a couple of burgers sitting there. And there we go. That's the next net down. A few little cinematic shops, uh, shots. As you can see, oh Bjart, he's out there cooking. He's cooking burgers. Must be a barbecue since he's outside. <laughs> he's, he looks like he's cooking them on the table though. Yeah, as I said, that's a good little tip that um, if you're traveling back and forwards towards a job or you're just traveling to unlock areas, Always have him working, just get him leveling up or whoever it is you've got on your crew. Also as well, if you press H, it gets rid of everything in your HUD and you can get some nice cinematic shots of the boat. Doesn't they look nice? Looks pretty cool. And there you can see the lights of Hammerfell. Hammerfest. 
bloody Hammerfell. Don't know where I keep getting that name from, Hammerfell. Yeah, before in my last video, as I said, I had that that um, graphic set and turned off, and you never had all these light reflections in the water. As I said, I don't know why it was turned off. I must have just been mucking about with it and didn't turn it back on. The game looks so much better with it on. Get all the reflections. The nice looking water. Okay, here we are. Just pulling into Hammerfest. Oh, yeah, still cooking away burgers. As you see, stamina's right down now. But doesn't that look nice? Got all the lights on. So I'm just going to pull over the dock. Unload this job that I picked up. Not reducing the speed. Well, there's another, another thing I mentioned is what I wanted to mention as well with the jobs. I mean, if you look here, I'm only carrying 790 kilograms of fish and I can carry up to 10,000 kilos. I mean, yesterday I did a job, it was the same kind of job. I had to come all the way down to Hammerfest from that place up the top that I keep forgetting the name. Yet, yeah, I could have picked up both jobs, but I could only do one. Which is a bit silly. If you've got the capabilities to handle that much fish, you should be able to pick up both jobs. But there you go. Bob is very happy with the fish you delivered for him. Congratulations. Rewards. Reputation with Hammerfest has improved and reputation with Akafjord has improved. And I just made 79,000 krona. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up the fuel. There we go, full with fuel, and we're going to head back out the fish. Because I don't think there's actually any jobs here. No, nope, let me tell you in the town. No jobs. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to check actually. How much is. Oh, it's. 1,950,000 krona. We're only up to 842,000. So it looks like I'm going to have to do quite another bit of fishing before I can buy the next boat. So let's pull out of here. And what I'm actually going to do. Oh, he's fully arrested. That's okay. I'm actually going to arrest him anyway, because I'm actually going to quick travel all the way up to Akafjord to pick up that net. As you see, it's been out for eight hours now, so it's going to be about eight, nine hours back trip, so that's going to be about 16 hours the net's going to be out for. That should be okay. We'll do a going to the map. Start planting some waypoints down. Is that going to be past that wall? Yep. Oh, didn't mean that one. Let's remove that. Up here. Up here. As you see, you can only place waypoints in the blue areas, the parts that you've unlocked. Up to there. And over to there. There we go. Yeah, that was right. I just had to check that. So I went into the wiki. As you see, you go into the wiki here. Uh, the fishing tools, net fishing. And red is a very low result. Yellow is another ro low result. You got green is medium and blue is the best result. So what I want to do, just want to leave these for another couple of hours. Let the turn blue. So we'll head over to the dock. Maybe put it forward another three or four hours. Let me show. Okay, here we are. Dr. Akafjord. And as you can see, they've only been out for 14 hours. 
you want them around about 18 19 hours so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna forward time for about another four hours and that should bring us up to about 18 hours have a look at the map they're green now that should be okay time we get to there it should turn to about 19 hours and it should turn blue i reckon just noticed as well we've got another job here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go out pick up this fish the net come back into the dock with it and pick up the job and go back down to hammerfest okay so let's go and get some cod and cod play uh, pays really well so we should get quite a bit of cash for this hole coming up. Okay, so what you want to do here, get your crew up. Put old Bart on the net hole. Bring it around so it's on the right hand side. Again, there we go, the semicircle. Good turn green. Ooh, and he's just missed it. There we go. Okay. Now you've got another little mini game here. Just got to hit the, the keys W, A, S, and D. I think if you miss the, the little mini game here, it actually damages your net and you have to get it repaired. Now the crew members, they can't repair nets, which is a pity. They can only repair your ship. So if you do damage your net, you actually have to repair it in the dock. It's a pretty simple little game, this one. That's some big fish. Okay, what are we up to? 9 out of 12. Oh, I hit bloody A there instead of W. That was me saying it was an easy game. Look at the size of them cod. Okay, storage is full. We've got 732 cod, which is 20,000 kilos. We've got 729 pollock, 8,000 kilos. 717 haddock. Wow, that's a good haul. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to get them because he takes ages. If I was going on a long journey, what I would do, I, I would gut half of them. And then I'd put old Bjart to gut the other half as we're going along. He probably does a better job than me though. That's not a bad one. Four and a half stars. Five stars. Some of them are easier than others. Oh, that pulled down pretty quick, that one. Yeah, it's a bit hit and miss, this. Uh, You'll get one or two that's really easy, and then you'll just get one that the bloody knife goes all over the place. Okay, fully gutted. So what do we have? Two kilograms free. We've got 9,998 kilograms of fish. So we'll head back to... I remember the name of it again. Fjord. You're forgetting the name. Okay. Get Bob resting. No, we'll actually get him on repairs, I think. So if we give the ship a little, little dink that. And as you can see, the speed of the, the boat slows way down when you're full of fish. We were doing 10 knots, 11, 12 sometimes when it was pretty empty. We're right down at five knots. So 
what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna fast travel up to the docking and see how much money we get for this. Should get quite a few. So we're on 840,000 kroner at the moment. This should add quite a bit to our wallet. Okay, let's dock. Okay. 5,302 kilograms. That's 39.7 krona per kilo, I think that is. And we're going to make 162,244 krona just off the cod alone. And 6.2 krona per kilo uh, for the pollock. We're going to make 24,000 off that. So let's see how much we get. 183,927.91 krona for one one hole uh, is good. And that's us up to 1.24 million krona now. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this job. And that gives us 130,000 krona. What we have to do is, Bob the local fisherman would like you to deliver 1,300 kilograms of assorted fish fillets to Hammerfest within five days. So we'll take that and that's going to improve our reputation with Hammerfest again and Akafjord. So let's make sure we're full of fuel. There we go. Good old Pia. He's on the repair again. And we're on another long journey all the way down to Hammerfest. But the good thing about doing these jobs, I mean, even though you can't fast travel, it's adding kilometers to your overall distance. And to unlock the fourth boat, I actually have to travel 450 kilometers. As you see, when I started this video, I just unlocked this boat. So we've actually done 23.8 kilometers. Oh shit. Just watch where I'm going. And um, I've still got 8,700 kilo spare space. I wanna see how they're out for 15 hours. By the time we reach there, they should be blue. We'll pull that in and offload that at Hammerfest as well. Okay, so we're just about to pull up towards the net, but I thought I'd bring us in a little bit earlier because look what I have just spotted on the starboard side. It's a couple of whales. Look at that. Once you get close to them, you'll see them uh, breach and then they'll go under. You can see the tail coming up. Pretty cool. Should come up now. There we go. I've never actually ran over one, so I don't know if it actually does any damage to the ship or not. But yeah, they've got things like that in the game as well. <laughs> Just um, driving past some whales. Do some, do some whale watching. Look pretty cool. Okay, make sure you get it on the left hand side. He's nearly fully rested. We'll bring him out. Put him on the net hole. Start turning. Start dropping some speed. This should be a good haul. They've been soaking for ages. 22 hours. Drop some more speed. Try and get this first time. Oh, have I overshot it a bit? That should be okay. There we go, in the green. So we've got 14. And there's some nice big cod there. Nice big red fish. 
good money for the redfish also. Must be getting tired. I'm a little bit slow on these keys. That's a bit better. Oh, look at the size of that big card. 8 out of 14. 9. Oops, wrong button. Twelve out of fourteen. Okay, last one. Okay, twenty two thousand kilos of cod, eight thousand kilos of pollock, seven thousand kilos of haddock, and four thousand kilos of redfish. Now let's get some gun done. Whoa. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll probably do most of these and we'll shove a little beart on them to finish it off for us. Just so you keep him working. Don't want him slacking on the job. I'm paying him. He's working. <laughs> Just keep him going. Okay. That'll do us just now. Get Bjart on the rest. You can gut them, mate. And we'll head to Hammerfest. As you see, the speed of the ship's going to slow right down to about 4 or 5 knots instead of the 12 we were on. Oh, and look at that. The Aurora Borealis has come out. Doesn't that look nice? Northern Lights. Look at that. And you can tell when you're weighed down as well. I mean, look how low in the water the ship is now. That looks really nice though with the northern lights out. Let's turn our lights on, shall we? Put the working lights on, interior lights, and the running lights. We don't need the search lights on. Give Bjart a bit, of, a bit of light to work under, since I'm a bit of a blade driver. Always got him working away. Yeah, and look at that. I'm a female. Got the guy working. <laughs> Most games I play, I usually play a female character. Don't know why, just always have. It is a really nice looking game. Especially we've got things like that up in the sky. Good old Aurora Borealis. Northern Lights. Oh, and there we go. Good old Bjart has leveled up. Yeah, that's what I said. It's a good little tip. Just keep them working constantly all the time. Just keep them leveling up. Because you'll take him over to you, over to the next ship with you as well. But the thing is with the next ship, I mean, he's leveling up his hand cutting just now. On the next ship, as you see there, you've got net hauling, stacking, and machine gutting. Uh, you've got machine gutting on the next ship, I'm sure there is. Okay, so we're just coming around this little harbour wall here and heading into Hammerfest. Again, as I said earlier about your crew member, keep them working. When I first started him on repairs, he was only doing 3% an hour. He's up to 4% an hour now. So it does pay to just keep them at it. Keep them going. I mean, he's, only, he's down to about 40% um, stamina at the moment. But we don't actually need him for anything more. He's finished the cutting, the rest of the cutting. He's got some burgers up there. So once he's finished repairing the ship, I'll stick him back into resting. Give him a burger. I'll keep him happy. And just as we're nearing Hammerfest, we drive by some whales again. That looks like a little baby one, that like a little tiny fin. Yeah, that's a tiny one. Little baby, little baby whale. 
<laughs> Look at the size of that. As you see, we're moving very, very slow. Put that back on. We're only going 4.6 knots an hour. That's what? Whoa, about 5 miles an hour, I think. I think 5 knots is 5.7 miles an hour. Yeah, so we're only going about 5 miles an hour. Pretty slow. Oh, there we go. Breached. And he's going down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Thought I'd show you that before we pull into Hammerfest. Okay, back again. Just as we're coming around the corner to Hammerfest. As you see up here, the sun is rising. And look at the colour. Just totally changed the whole colour of the water. A nice sort of orangey colour to it. I mean, so the, so the lighting is really good, and you've got that like like a, like a mist effect as well. Certain ways you look at it. I mean, look at that. Isn't that lovely. Yeah, it does look good. Okay, we're back again, and here we come. We're just about to pull into the dock. Again, nice early in the morning. That looks like a church over there, look. The, the cross is like lit up. That's the first time I've seen that, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see how much money we get for this. Better put the HUD back on. Get rid of that. Okay, mission complete. That's for Bob. Bob is very happy with the fish you have delivered. Congratulations, rewards. Reputation with Hammerfest improved. A reputation with Ackerfield improved. Improved. And we just made 135,000 corona for that as well. Okay, let's dock. Let's sell this. Oh, and we made 207,089.75 corona. We're up to 1.3 million. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, look how much you got for the cod. 133,000 for the cod. 15,000 for the pollock. 14,000 for the haddock. And 19,000 for the redfish. That's not bad at all. So there you go, guys. That's net fishing with this shark in. Um, and when you do want to do the net fishing, you've got to make sure you come all the way down to here. Because you can still do long line hauler with the shark in, or you can do net hauling. So you make sure you've got the, the net hauler equipped. And as you see, I've got a few upgrades. I've upgraded the radars, upgraded the engine as well. I'm bored with the searchlight. And there we go. So I still need quite a bit of money before I can buy which one is it yeah before I can buy the Vibeck Catherine so it's a 1,950,000 krona I mean it's going to be easy to get I mean I wanted to do uh, there was a couple of little jobs by running backwards and forwards up to Acker Fort because if you look when I first came on, I was only on 200 kilometers. I've done 41 kilometers just traveling back and forward, so it's gonna add to 450 kilometers. I need to unlock boat number four. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably just gonna farm cod. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll just keep coming out, dropping lines, going back, using waypoints, fast traveling. Fast forward in time, coming back out, picking the lines up, fast forward and back, dropping them off, doing the same again, and you'll make money in no time doing it that way. But I just wanted to show you, unlocking some of the areas up here, and doing a couple of jobs, just to, just to show you what it's like. But as again, when you unlock the next ship, 
when I get enough money, which won't take me long because I'm just going to be fast traveling from around here. And we'll travel up to here and unlock all this area up here. That should be good fishing up there. So don't forget, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. And I will catch us again next time.